Hello, Gemini. It is Ariana. I hope you guys are doing super wonderful, and I hope that November is treating you quite beautiful. This is the month of Thanksgiving, so if I don't say it, I better say it now. Happy Thanksgiving to all of our family. Hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful one full of family memories. Okie dokie. So guys, thank you so much. We've been on this journey. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your emails, your comments, and everything else. You guys have been super, super amazing. So great big hugs to y'all. However, it is time for your read for November, guys. So before we get started, let's go through some little technicalities. If you've never watched my channel before, welcome, welcome, my friend. However, I like to let people know that if you're easily offended by language or content, I may or may not be the reader for you because sometimes I just don't know what's going to come out. Um, otherwise, this is a general read. This means we are focusing on the general energy for Gemini, moon, rising, or sun sign. So um, hopefully this does resonate with you. I like to tell people, think about a situation that's close at hand when you're watching these and watch watch the energy manifest. I'm going to give you as much information that I can about the cards and then I'm going to tell you any messages that I pick up. Also, please remember that this is general so that if you would like a personal read, please feel free to contact me at arianaluciano at gmail.com. Also, I do have a thankful, 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 I've, I'm, I want to say thankful Thursdays, two for Tuesday. I think I'm like on the wing thing. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. So sorry. However, I do have a thankful reading coming out, and that is a video special. It's a two for one. So if you order a video read from me, you get another for free. That does not necessarily mean that you have to buy it for yourself. You can buy it and gift it to someone else. Let's talk to about, let's, let's give back, all right? <laughs> so you let me know. I'll put some information in the link below. Also, um, if you have any questions, you can also email me at arianaluciano at gmail.com or Instagram, okay, at arianaluciano. All right, let's jump into your read, Gemini. We have got the Hunter of Dreams. I don't know. I feel like you guys get this a lot. I'm not for sure, but I think so. And I see you there with your little um, bow and arrow kit. You're just like off and ready to conquer the world. And this is my dream big card. My dream big little pig. That's a great book by Christy Yamaguchi. I read it to my kids all the time. And basically, let me give you a little gist of this book. This is the little pig who tries out all these different things until finally she finds her knack. And I kind of feel, Gemini, this is you. You have tried all kinds of things, damn it, and now you're ready to go after what it is you really want. Dreams reveal your heart's desires, and that is what they're trying to tell you, is listen to your heart. And these are from the Shaman's Oracle from um, John Matthews and Will Kingham. I attribute this card to the High Priestess and also to the Star card and the Nine of Cups. I feel like it's your dreams and your wishes coming to flourishing, okay? It says, I open doors for you who dream with me. I am also your guardian, and I protect you as you seek to transcend yourself and realize your innermost hopes, okay? So this is like a new energy stepping into your life. Bum, bum, bum. All right, realizations, discovery of the truth, guidance, opening up new paths, and attending to the metaphors and signs. So pay attention, open your eyes, see things for what they are, okay? I'm going to put this to the side. I apologize, guys. My allergies are cold or something. I don't know. It's trying to slip in. So if I start making sniffling sounds, I apologize. I have pre-shuffled, but we're going to go ahead and shuffle them again together while we're, while we're on the phone. While we're, while we're together. So, here we go. As I cut the deck in half, guys, to shuffle, I have the Ten of Discs and the Ten of Cups. This tells me new beginnings, some endings yield new beginnings, Okay financially and in love. All right. Saints the tilt buses cards for this for the sign of Gemini. Ah, they don't want to go. They don't want to go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they don't want to go. All right. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is a five card spread focusing on the past. Uh-oh. Bon check on my wall. We have the 6 of cups in the past. In the present, we got your big daddy carob of arrows bringing in some truths and enlightenment. Your, oh my goodness, Gemini, what can I say? 
I, I am a Gemini rising and I like your read so far. <laughs> we have as the hidden influence. Nothing but love. OMG, is it going to be a thankful month? All right. The advice. Putting on the brakes. Gosh, dog it. Got the wheel reversed. All right. And the possible outcome. Damn. Nine of arrows. All right. Okay, let's just go with it. Let's see what we can get out of it, okay? Now, I do have the Ten of Disc as your overall energy. And I also, I'm going to pull this one because I think it goes with you guys, is the Tower. Hmm. Okie dokie. So, in the past, guys, we reconnected. There was some connection going on with the Six of Cups. I'm so glad y'all can't see me. I'm over here moving my hips like we really got something going on. However, Six of Cups energy, I'm going to tell you everything about this, and I'm going to tell you some stories I'm already picking up on, and I'm super excited. Okay, Six of Cups in the past, there was change coming in your life, like a big sweep of change came in. It was like you brought some peace, some good feelings. Um... This is even a new career could have been coming in. You know, something new is coming in. And this is telling you, like, yeah, you was just loving it up and drinking it up and enjoying life. Everything was super copacetic. And you were just enjoying yourself. And damn it to hell, you deserve to enjoy yourself. <laughs> and um, this is what you may have went through last month, two months ago. I'm going to say up till about three months ago, you might have been going through this. However, here comes... A breakthrough. Now, you see here, all of this yellow, all of that yellow is like sunshine, light, brightness, illumination. Things are coming through. You're getting some information because this is the carob of arrows and this is your carob. This is the one who brings in communication, illumination, advice, things like that. But I always tell people, notice that he has a sacrificial animal and that is the deer, okay? The deer is a symbolism for me and for many others about self-love. So during the during this process that you're just like making love and enjoying yourself and, and having a good time, there was truth that was revealed. And I'm going to clarify this with two cards, actually. There was truth that was revealed. And I'm telling you, you got to love yourself, okay? You got to love yourself because this is you. This is you in the present moment, okay? Let's see. Let's see which spirit is trying to guide you through the present moment with the Shaman's Oracle. Show me the Shaman of Sorrows. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> I just feel like they take us high to bring us low. Oh, I don't feel very good. So the Shaman of Sorrows is basically telling you, this might be you right now. You're kind of upset because something's coming to an end, right? I told you those two tens showed up, right? An ending and a beginning. However, and you still have two tens in your read because the wheel is a ten. I need to wear my glasses. Um, the Shaman of Sorrow, it's not all that bad. It looks like little Danny the dinosaur. You know, he's like trying to eat something or he's trying to spill his heart out. And it says, I speak, to you, a little, little, I speak to you from a place of peace, hope, and transformation. I journey into the heart of pain and find ways to restore you to a state of balance in which sorrows no longer hold sway in your life. Okay? Restoration of hope, finding balance, acceptance, mourning, um, transcending sorrowful thoughts. So it's almost like you're going to have to love yourself. You know, you're going to love yourself through this situation so that you can move to the next level. And the carob is trying to bless your life. He's coming in with his palmita girl and he's going to bless you, girl or man, okay? Because this is a general reading. <laughs> he's going to come and bless you and try to help you understand that it's okay to mourn something. It's okay to be sad, but don't stay there for too long, okay? Remember that there's always a good and a bad to everything. All right, Gemini, now this is you. This card is attributed to you, and this is the hidden influence. And this is Ishtar and Tammuz, the lovers. All right, so there's there's a reason why you're hurting. It could have been that you feel that you needed to make the right decision and the right choice. And sometimes I feel that um, the lovers is that for me, making the right choice. And I feel in this one, it's the right choice in love, actually. The hidden influence is that someone is offering you something. And you're like, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's the right time. I just kind of got out of something. I don't know if I'm fully over it. That's just what I'm getting right now. Because just by the way that it looks, okay? Now, what I'm also getting 
is the fact that um, when he's offering this cup of love, he's trying to tell Ishtar something very, very important. And Ishtar just isn't listening. So we have the lover. Sorry about that, guys. I'm My phone is acting really, really crazy. So when I get a phone call, I have this Regram app, and it's like taking over my phone calls. Even if I try not to answer it, it blacks out the whole screen. So I apologize. Back to where we were at. All right. So the lovers, I kind of feel like for some, this is an old love. This is somebody trying to come back because we have the Six of Cups. You thought you were over it, and then now they're back again. And here they are, and, you know, the wheel is going the wrong way. It's almost like, damn, bad timing, bad situation, just not a good time, but you just really want to jump on and take it. And the advice is kind of hold back. Pump the brakes, baby. Because if you keep going full force, you might make a mistake. That's kind of what I'm getting. I think you need to, like, take a step back. And this really sucks because I'm a Gemini and I was super, super excited. I think that's my rising sign. I was getting super pumped. I thought our soulmate was coming. <laughs> and um, now we got to take a step back and we got to look at things from a bigger picture. There's a reason why it's not completely working out right now. And it could be something due to timing. It could just be that, you know what, it's just not going to work out this time around maybe somebody's moving on those kinds of things um because two sixes in the read is kind of telling me that you need to trust the way that you're really feeling inside there's a reason why you're feeling this way and, and you need to trust what you're feeling okay now the possible outcome that we have is the nine of arrows in reverse and you see this little fire sign um lion he's attacking that wheel damn it and he's just like i'm gonna go I don't care what the hell is going on around me. I'm going to take a bite out of this stuff. I don't care if everyone's talking noise. I'm, I'm going down without a fight, okay? Without, I'm not going down without a fight. Let me slow it down. When this is reversed, it's almost like you're going to get upset, but not so much with like what's going around you, Gemini, but like what you're feeling on the inside. It's turned towards yourself. This is sometimes referred to as the nightmare card in the Rider White, and it's like, damn, really? Like I should have seen this coming. Because for some of y'all, it's somebody from your past coming back and offering you this, this, like I would say, boo-boo wrapped up in wrapping paper like it's a freaking present. And you're just like, woohoo, I'm so lucky. And then you open it up and you're like, again, you got me again? However, this is a clearing of energy, guys. Because on at, at the end, the overall energy is the tower and the ten of discs. So basically, this thing like needs to be wiped completely clean, totally annihilated is what I'm getting. Because the tower doesn't always have to be, I'm getting you in closer, doesn't always have to be drastic. It doesn't always have to be something horrible. I mean, the tower could just be simply like, okay, it didn't work out. It's time to move on. I'm glad I can see things for what they are, or it could be some mind-blowing sex. I don't know. It depends on what's going on in your life, but I do feel like the tower does clear things out, and I feel like it's being cleared out so that you can see that the richness is coming into your life, because the Ten of Disc is about completion, so I feel like the tower is saying, this is completely over for some of y'all, and it's time to move on because better things are coming for you. Good things are coming for you, okay? So... I want to clarify, before I go into the whole story that I want to give you, I want to clarify Danny the Dinosaur, <laughs> the Shaman of Sorrows that's just like, don't do it, Ishtar, don't take the cup. That's what I feel like he's saying. Remember what happened last time. Let's see. What is the Carib of Arrows want to see to Gemini? All right, so now that makes it three tenths in the read. So there, are, there may be some discussions or arguments over money, um, living situations, those kinds of things. But I'm also feeling this is a clearing of the energy, Gemini. Sometimes you have to have those moments or those months where you just you have to get rid of all of the mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse so bad. The mumbo jumbo that tries to walk in and sway you with their pretty words. Okay. So this is an emotional thing because when the Ten of Cups shows up, it's a perfect family. It's like your dream situation, but it's almost like you're having to let that go. Like you, 
Like at the moment you feel like, ah, why? Why is my family going through this? Why are we doing this? Why can't I have what I want? Okay. However, it's also taking things for granted. So there's Geminis that are going through all kinds of stuff. I do feel like this is at an end and a new beginning is coming. But it's almost like you don't want the beginning to come. And that's why the universe is wiping the slate clean and saying, you know what? You don't want it to come, baby. I'm going to clear it out with the tower. All right. And that way you can reap the benefit. All right. Let's clarify the week. <laughs> what does the wheel, why is it bad timing? I just feel like it's a bad timing. Show me the energy. Okay. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, that's three major Arcania cards right next to each other. So, yes, the roosters are coming out to play, Bobby Boucher. You're about to get some information that's going to put a on the go game. You thought you were running off into the down the aisle. You thought things were going the way they were supposed to go. And then here comes Ishtar. Hold the phone. She's got her tambourine and she's got her lion. And you see her riding on the back of the lion? Yes, baby. Somebody is going to tell you something that you're just going to be like, you're freaking kidding me. This cannot be true. No, I can't believe it. He promised or she promised it's not going to be like that. And then there you are mad at yourself. Okay. Because the information that's coming, it, it, was, it wasn't time for it to come out yet. It was like almost like you had to experience this in order to understand that this time, it, it was a no-go. And it wasn't because you didn't try your hardest. It wasn't because you didn't do your best. But it was just because it wasn't in the cards. Like, the, how, how cliche. It's just not in the cards, man. And unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't diminish the experience that you had. Okay, and I say this from the bottom of my heart. Because it sucks to have breakups. But this is what we forget. We, when we're going through the breakup, we're just like, oh, he's such an ass. Da, 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 da. Maybe they weren't such an ass all the time, you know. And, and in our day and age, we think we're supposed to stay with somebody until the day we die. And unfortunately, it doesn't always work out that way. So it's very important for us to kind of look at the situation as a whole and be like, what did I learn from this? How can I grow from this? Hey, that was a lot of fun. Damn, wish it could have last longer, but I'm going to move on. Okay, and, and because if not, we're going to be right here in the nightmare card. Okay, and I don't think that's where you want to stay, Gemini. I sure as hell don't want to stay there. So I, I'm just going to have to let it go, whatever it is, um, to understand the energy that's around it. But I feel like it's a major event because it's a wise decision with the lovers. The wheel is reversed. And then the high priestess comes in and says, let me check yourself before you wreck yourself. And then you say, oh, it's all my fault with the lion over here with the nine of arrows. Ah, oh, I can't do it no more. And then the tower says, you know what? You can't do it. I got you, boo. Universe got your back. It's completely over. Here's three new beginnings. 10, 10, 10. I wiped the slate clean. Let's move on to the next. And I wish it was that easy to, <laughs> to get over stuff, but it's almost like that's what needs to happen, Gemini, for you to realize that you were made for something greater, okay? And I feel like you're Ishtar because Ishtar is the queen of arrows, okay? And that is you. You are the queen of arrows or the king of arrows, however, who, whoever and however you want to call yourself. Um, that is your energy. And the queen of arrows cuts through bullshit like a sharp knife. She doesn't take prisoners. She can communicate her thoughts effectively. And that's who Ishtar is. Ishtar was the goddess of love and the goddess of war. And it depended on which side of the battlefield you wanted to stand up against her at. Okay? This is an emotional situation. This is something very near and dear to your heart because of all the cups in it. Okay? Cups represent love, emotions, that kind of stuff. All right, so I don't really feel too much like this is about work, but if this is your work situation, you're, you got a raise. You thought everything was going great. You got the job, and you're like, what the hell's going on? This isn't what they promised. This is no longer a happy home. I need to make a wise decision. I may need to move on, and then you receive information that says don't move on just yet because um, you need more information. That's what the high priest is, which leaves you feeling like, God, I wish I wouldn't have taken this anyways. And then the tower happens, 
and then either you get the 10 of disc as far as a raise or you get a new job. When I see three tens in a read, there is arguments about money. So there may be some issues within the family or within the marriage where money is a problem, which throws things off. Whatever's happening, just know that the ten of disc is the overall energy and the riches can be felt, okay? The riches doesn't have to necessarily mean money. It can mean love. It can mean faithfulness. Whatever it is, the ten of disc is like a full, complete happiness, okay? So even though the tower is some can be some rough energy not all the time but it can be i feel that in the end it's going to be a blessing in disguise okie dokie gemini when i shuffled your um oracle cards i couldn't think i got two cards that flew out for me so the first one was a flowing river and these are the native spirit cards from uh, denise lynn and i was using the babylonian tarot by tabitha sandra cicero so flowing river, everything is falling into place because you're not resisting the drift. You're not fighting all of this loconess, okay? It's time to let go. You entered a period of gracious ease and flow. When you're in a state of flow, you're not pushing the river to go faster. You aren't swimming against it. And that's what the wheel is telling you. It says, let go of the shore and enjoy the ride, okay? Now, if you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations or that you're being very self-critical right here or self-judgmental learn to appreciate and allow others to support you and help you heed the native american saying it's best to ride the horse the direction that it's going this means that when the car flowing river chooses you gemini you're being told to let go and go with the flow if there's something or someone you need to forgive this is the time this is also the time to forgive yourself and just let go. I feel for some that this person from the past promised you a happy family and you just didn't get it. And, you know, they came back for the second round of what I call break your heart. Thanks a lot, jerk. Anyways, I don't think that was their intentions. It just wasn't the right time. You thought you made the right choice. You feel you made the right choice. Whatever it was, it was just a timing thing and not all the information was there. So that's where the forgiveness would need to come in for you or for the other person, okay? Spirit of Earth. So we got water and earth is how I'm kind of reading this. And if you kind of see this, this is like you learning to let go over here. And this is you getting grounded, okay? For those who, who might, this might be about work because it's saying pros prosperity is blossoming in all areas of your life. You are strong and grounded. Who you are is enough, just as you are. Connect more fully with nature. Okay, this is about create a home for your soul. Create a home that you're comfortable in. Be present in the here and now, okay? So, just as grass pushes up from the ground, know that you need to let your roots go deep before you can, you know, before you can rise up. So, just start getting in touch with um, what it is you really want to grow and cultivate. Think about the thoughts that you want to grow and cultivate because this is, it's going to happen. It's going to occur. And the tower isn't to scare you guys. The tower shouldn't be super scary. Even though, you know, we're like, oh shit, everything's going to fall apart. Well, sometimes, baby, it falls apart because it wasn't very strong in the first damn place. And we needed to build it on a firm foundation. Okie dokie, Geminis. That's what I have for you guys. I hope that you guys work through this energy. I'm going to have to think about it because I'm a Gemini rising and I thought we were going to have like a super happy read and I got all excited until I saw the nine of arrows and then I wanted to break the arrow that was pointing the wrong way. So anyways, I feel your pain, Gemini. Um, there is a special going on. I think I told you about it earlier. It is my thankful special. It's buy a read, get a read for a video read, okay? Because I don't time my phone reads Guys, I'm not going to rush you. I, I don't have the heart to cut you off. I, I don't. I don't. I just can't do it. But on the videos, I can get more done. Um, and that's why I offer specials with the videos. So you buy a video read. And let's say that your girlfriend has an issue or she wants to know something. And you're like, hey, girl, we can get reads for $10 each. You know, because it's one video read is 20 but I'm offering you two. So it's buy one, get one free. So you can either buy two for you. One for you, one for your mama, one for your daddy, however you want to allot them, okay? Just make sure that they're okay with that and that they don't mind receiving some crazy ladies video, which would be me. I'm talking about, 
you might need to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, guys. So hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or hit me up on the gram at arianaluciano. Thank you guys very much. Stay blessed and lots of love.